In this video, we will learn about the Kramer's rule and its economic applications. We have a question that is the equilibrium conditions in two related markets are being given as is. In the first market, we have 2P1 minus P2 is equal to 10. P1 and P2 are the prices of two goods. In the second market, the relation is minus 2P1 plus 3P2 is equal to 12. We have to find out the equilibrium price in each market. Okay. So how do we use the Kramer's rule? Let us see here. First, uh, we form, uh, you know, in the matrix form, uh, this can be written as AX is equal to B. Here A denotes the coefficient matrix. So let me write it here. A is simply the coefficients of P1 and P2. So the coefficient of P1 in the first equation is 2. The coefficient of P1 in the second equation is minus 2. So I write it here minus 2. The coefficient of P2 is minus 1 in the first market and the coefficient of price that is P2 is 3 in the second market. This is our coefficient matrix. Okay. And we have X. X is simply the solution vector that we want to find out. That is we want to find out the value of P1 and P2. And this B denotes the vector of constant terms. Okay. So B is simply the vector of constant terms which is being given as is 10 and 12 here. Okay. 10 and 12. We need to find out the equilibrium value of P1 and P2. Okay. First thing is uh, we take the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Okay. So the determinant of coefficient matrix is simply how do we take the determinant? Is simply we multiply the diagonal elements first. That is the principal diagonal elements here. That's two, three are six. Then we subtract. Okay, and multiply the non-diagonal, you know, non-principal diagonal elements. That is minus two and minus one. Minus two into minus one is uh, plus two. So we will write here plus two. So this comes out to be four. Okay. If the determinant was equal to zero, then these system of equations were not feasible here. Okay. So the determinant sh should be greater than zero, which is of course true in this case. So this was first step to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Now the second step is uh, to find the value of P1. Okay. To find the value of P1 and let me write it here. To find the value of P1, what we do, we simply replace the first column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms and form new matrix A2 and take uh, it is de uh, determinant. Okay. So we form second matrix. Let us say this is A1. Okay. In such a way, first we form, then we take determinant. Okay. So let me rub this out. So A1 will be a determinant. A1 will be a matrix which is composed. Uh, okay. By replacing the first column of the coefficient matrix. So replacing 2 minus 2 with 10 and 12. Okay. So let me write it here. We write 10, 12. And second column remains as it is minus 1 and 3. Okay. And then we take the determinant of this ready matrix A1. Now what is the determinant of A1? Simply multiply these two elements first. 10, 3 is are 30. Subtract and multiply these two elements. 12 and minus 1. So 12 into minus 1 is minus 12. So we have minus 12 here. So this comes out to be 30. Okay, so we have 30 uh, plus 12. That comes out to be 42. So we got A1 is equal to 42. Now the equilibrium, let me write it here. The equilibrium price of P1 will be equal to the new determinant Okay, the determinant of new matrix upon the determinant of coefficient matrix. Determinant which we got is 42. 42 upon the determinant of coefficient matrix we calculated, it came out to be 4. Okay, solving this, 4 ones are 4. We have then uh, 4 zeros are 0. Point. So it will be something. Uh, so 0, 4, 0, 0, so 4, 5 are 20. So 10.5 will be the equilibrium price of P1. Okay, 
Now to find the equilibrium price of P2, what we do? This time, we replace second, okay? To find the equilibrium value of P2, we replace second element, sorry, second column of coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms and form a new matrix A2, okay? So let me write it here. We form new matrix A2 in such a way, we write 2 minus 2 and replace this. Uh, column the second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant term. So in place of minus 1 3 We have 10 and 12 10 and 12 this 10 and 12 and we take the determinant of a2 So multiplying 12 into 2 is 24 Subtract and multiply these two elements. So 10 into minus 2 is minus uh, uh, Okay, minus 20. So this comes out to be 20 so this is minus minus into minus is plus it comes out to be 44 okay now to find the equilibrium value of you know p2 p2 will be simply equal to the determinant of this new matrix upon the coefficient matrix determinant so we have here 44 upon the determinant of coefficient matrix is 4 so which comes out to be 11 that means our p2 will be equal to 11. They, this is how we, you know, apply the Kramer's rule here. Simply to find the value of P1, we replace first element, first column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms. To find the value of P2, we replace second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms. Okay, and by the same same logic, if we have three cross three element, sorry, three by three matrix, that's coefficient matrix, then P3 will be uh, to find the value of P, P3, we would have replace the third column of the coefficient matrix to get the you know resulting matrix i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you